Hi guys, it's Dr. Parth Palan here and I am doing my DNB Ophthalmology from LV Prasad Eye Institute, Hyderabad. And now that your need PG counselling has begun and is almost nearing the end, many people have this doubt that what should you be actually choosing? Branch of your choice or college of your choice? What is more important, branch or college? What should you choose? A branch of your choice from a decent college or a branch that you don't want from a very good college in which you are getting a seat? So my answer and my advice to all the need aspirants is that branch, branch and only branch. In this video, I'll be giving the justification and a few reasons as well as to why I recommend that branch is very important and is more important than the college that you choose. But before I begin, if you have any doubts or queries about this, please feel free to connect with me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is palanpart03 and I'll be really happy to solve all your doubts and queries. So here goes. Number one, branch is your identity. It is something that is going to stay with you forever. So before being identified as a doctor from a very reputed institute, you are going to be identified as a specialist in your own branch. It's something that is going to stay with you. People are not going to say that, Hey, ye to aims ke doctor hai. No, that is only going to be, that is only going to come after you say that you are an MD medicine or an MD radiologist from AIMS. So that is going to stay with you forever. It's almost like marriage, you know, guys. In fact, in marriage also, you can give divorce. But in this, it's very difficult to choose another branch after having chosen one branch. So branch is absolutely and very, very important compared to the hospital. Number two, patients don't care. So if you think that doing from, from a reputed institute and patients are all going to be like, hey, he is a doctor from a very, very reputed institute. No, in the long run, if you are a good doctor, patients are not going to really ask you that way from where have you done your PG? Have you done from a private institute or have you done from a government institute or you have done from a very, very reputed institute? No. See, if you are able to make the correct diagnosis, if your basics are right, if your concepts are very clear, you are a good doctor. That's it. No patient is going to really care from where you have done your post-graduation. Number three and the most important is your approach. See, in the end, it's all about how you practice, how your approach is and how you learn. I have seen many great doctors pass out from mediocre institutes and still do very well in their life. How did they do this? They did this because they had that energy in them. What they did was very simple. They knew that they had to choose this branch of, they wanted this branch of their own choice. So what they did, they attended seminars, they attended conferences, online workshops. There were so many things. The internet is full of material. You just need to know how and what is to be done with that material. So I would like to end by saying that yes, I do agree that people who get a good institute, who are from reputed institutes, do get a little head start. But don't worry guys, life is lambi hai dosto. So even if they get a head start, in the end, it won't really matter in the long run. So please choose a branch that you really want and be a specialist of your branch. And in the end, if you still have any further doubts and queries, please feel free to connect with me on Instagram, palanpar03. And now that your need PG counseling is on, I really wish you all the very best guys. May you all get the branch of your choice and the hospital of your choice as well. All the very best guys. Kill it.